I've been meaning to do this video well before Gary Brooker died, and now I think I'll uh, finally get around to doing it. Gary Brooker died uh, a few months ago, and uh, rest in peace. Procol Harum is one of my uh, favorite bands of all time, in my top ten by far. I saw them in 1969, and it was a great thrill to see them. Robin Trower was playing at Les Paul at that time, and uh, his uh, solos just cut right to you. I mean, it's just it's chills right up in your spine. I bought this album when it came out. I bought all these albums when they came out. I'm going to do their first six albums because to me they're all uh, five star or ten star, however you rate rate albums. And uh, there's not a bad cut on them as far as I'm concerned. I bought this when it came out, and I thought there must be more to to this band than Whiter Shade of Pale. And boy, was I right! I played this album a lot. This is a mono version, and uh, Keith Reed is the main song uh, or the uh, lyricist for uh, Procol Harum, and uh, his lyrics are they're weird. I mean, sometimes you don't have a clue what he's talking about. Other times, eh, maybe, but uh, I think it fits the band because they don't really fit into a category. They uh, do so many different styles of music that it's hard to say they're a whatever band. They they just they do a lot of different things. They can rock out with the best of them. Some of the live stuff I heard, they just can they can hit you right in the mouth with a with a live cut. So uh, this has a few really good songs on it. Well, all good songs actually. Repent while purges is an instrumental at the very end, and uh, when Robin Trower cuts in with his solo, it's just <laughs> it's chills. And uh, there's a song on here, Good Captain Clack. And uh, the chorus on this, Monty Pythons must have heard this song because the chorus is like a Monty Python type of chorus. <laughs> I could hear it like, ah. And uh, I also have a stereo version of it with the uh, cover kind of uh, put in a box. I don't like when they do that. So next up came Shine On Brightly. This is the uh, North American cover. Far, far superior than the uh, this cover here. I think this is English. I think this this one. Uh, that's a horrible cover. But this album is just uh, just another step in the right direction for uh, for the band. And uh, there's a big long epic on this called "In Hell Was an Eye," and uh, I love it. I love it. Again, Robin Trower is weaving his way through this album, and. Uh, when he breaks into a solo, he's he's in my top five guitar players of all time. So after that came uh, sort of a lot of people consider this problem maybe one of their best, but I, I th it's just the progression of the band for me. Salty Dog, and uh, Robin Trower would start to uh, have some songwriting credits in here and even sing. This is Juicy John Pink. Kind of a 12 bar bluesy thing. And he also uh, sang Crucifixion Lane. It's a great song. But we have Pilgrim's Progress. That was Matthew Fisher. And The Devil Came from Kansas. One of my favorites. The Devil Came from Kansas. Salty Dog. Classic. I mean, you can't, you can't beat any of these albums as far as I'm concerned. So then they took another turn. And they did basically a rock album all about death. And there's a song on here all about uh, pissing on your, uh, black in your Christmas and piss on your door. <laughs> Gotta love the lyrics. And we have uh, the Dead Man's, uh, what's this song called? Dead Man's Dream, About to Die. Real uplifting album. I love this album. It starts off with Whiskey Train. <laughs> Ultimate riff of all time, one of them. Dun, 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 dun. So then they went Robin Trower became, uh, or had a lot more influence on this album, and uh, this is another classic album. At first it was like, eh, I don't know, but after a while, you could pull this out and look through it, and you could be one of the band. Look, look, I'm in the band. So uh, this is a song, Simple Sister, uh, Power Failure, it's just, it's, just, it's Broken Barricades. You can't, poor Mohammed. Another great album, number five, and then Robin Trower left the band, and we went to Grand Hotel, and when I first 
heard he left the band, I thought, oh no. It's going to be another one of those cases where somebody leaves and... But, hang on. This album came out and after a couple listens, I, uh, I was all in. There's something in here too. Oh, it's got a booklet. It's got a whole booklet. You're invited to the Grand Hotel. And it's got little pictures in it and stuff. So, uh, this is, starts off with Grand Hotel and it's a sort of a majestic kind of sound. And then there's, uh, this, later on in the album, you, he caught a souvenir in London. And we obviously know what that's about. <laughs> and uh, Fires Which Burn Brightly. We have some female vocals in there. Absolutely all five star albums up to this point. And that's the first six essential Pokal Harem albums. Don't want to say that too fast. So uh, I'm still all in. I got the uh, I got the mini me's of all of them. And uh, I don't usually listen to extra tracks, but on this CD, there's some live stuff on here. There's a blues song, an old blues song, Going Down Slow, and Robin Trower just rips, literally rips. And we also have Long Gone Geek, which is a straight-ahead rock and roll song. So uh, they could do no wrong, as far as I'm concerned. And I did see them in 1969. So... Uh, Procol Harem. Five essential albums, what do you think? So long.